Welcome to the 16th annual Miles of Hope Spring into Fall Brunch. I'm Perry Farood, Executive Director of the Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation, and this is Lisa Arnoff, the co-chairman of this event. You know, Lisa, I think we could take our Miles of Hope masks off if we stand a little bit apart. That would be an excellent idea, Perry. Much better. I'm thrilled to be here, and I want to tell you all how excited we are that not only celebrating our sweet 16th birthday with us, but also honoring and remembering everyone affected by breast cancer in our Hudson Valley. In addition to the emotional and physical toll that cancer has on patients and their families, there can be an enormous financial impact. According to the Association of Community Cancer Centers, 75% of cancer patients applied for drug copayment assistance. 42% of participants in a study on the cost of cancer reported a significant or catastrophic financial burden. 46% reduced spending on food and clothing. And 46% used savings to defray out-of-pocket expenses while in treatment. Almost one-third of cancer patients have out-of-pocket health care costs totaling 10% or more of their family income. And that is why we are here. That's why Miles of Hope helps people in treatment for breast cancer with their bills and finances. That's why Miles of Hope funds free complementary medicine programs like yoga, exercise, acupuncture, dance, music, and art therapy. That's why we have a peer-to-peer -peer hotline operated by trained breast cancer survivors available to speak with anyone affected by this disease. Since 2004, Miles of Hope has given away $2.3 million for programs and services for people affected by breast cancer right here in our Hudson Valley. Thank you to every business and organization, individual and club that has supported all of our events and donor appeals. You all are awesome. Want to learn more about us? Go to milesofhope.org after this program. Hello everyone, Congressman Antonio Delgado here and I am so pleased to join you all today at the 2020 Spring Into Fall Brunch where we are celebrating the sweet 16th birthday of Miles of Hope, an incredible organization and how sweet it is to be able to acknowledge the work that you have all done to support those who have been affected by breast cancer. It is so important now more than ever that we rally around each other with love and with compassion and with empathy and it is so encouraging to know that this work that you are all providing remains steadfast, notwithstanding the challenging times that we find ourselves in. I applaud your willingness to adapt and provide virtual resources. And I'm also excited about the work that you have done with peer-to-peer -peer networking and connecting patients with survivors. I also want to congratulate the 2020 honorees for all the support that you have provided in this endeavor. Please. Stay safe, God bless, and happy birthday. Thank you, Congressman Delgado. As you know, the need for help grows every year, and at Miles of Hope, we always want to be there. We are able to do what we do because of the hundreds of volunteers, especially our board of directors. And I want to thank all of them, especially Lisa Arnoff and Jackie Rakuya, co-chairman of this year's Spring into Fall Brunch. Thank you, Perry. I'm honored to add Jackie's and my thanks to yours and to all the people who helped to make this virtual event possible. It's been interesting, to say the least, taking our wonderful brunch to an online format, but we've done it. And we are so happy you are sharing this groundbreaking moment with us. So, what's coming up? In the next hour, you'll be treated to the great presentations and videos from celebrities and doctors, scholarship winners and elected officials. So sit back, relax, and have brunch with us. Hi, I'm Senator Sue Serino, and I am honored to have the opportunity to join you in celebrating an organization that does so much for so many here in our community. The dedicated team at Miles of Hope has always gone above and beyond but during the past few months, I know they've been working overtime to provide critical support and assistance to all those they serve. 
and they couldn't do it without the help of our neighbors like those being honored here today, the Arnoffs, the Cantors, Emily Craig, and Ariana Peterman. I've always known the Miles of Hope is a truly special organization, but it wasn't until I was diagnosed with breast cancer myself this year that I really had the opportunity to reflect on the invaluable role they play here in our community. I know now that when you receive that diagnosis, your mind takes off and it can get completely overwhelming. Miles of Hope is there to meet patients where they are and ensure that they have access to the resources they need to be able to reduce stress and focus on their health. They're a bright light for so many in their darkest moments. And most importantly, they're a reminder that when it comes to healing, hope is often the most powerful force of all. Miles of Hope and the people who make it run are a lifeline for so many, and our community is incredibly grateful for their passion and dedication. Thank you again for all that you do. Hi, good morning, and welcome to the Miles of Hope 16th Annual Brunch. I'm Kathy Baranoff, co-founder of Miles of Hope. Uh, since our inception, Miles of Hope has raised two and a half million dollars to help our friends and neighbors in the nine counties of the Hudson Valley. And I'm so grateful that you decided to join us today, albeit virtually, for this annual celebration for Miles of Hope. Um, as you know, COVID uh, hit, COVID-19 in May, and so we had to postpone the live event to this virtual event happening today. And for the safety of your, you and your loved ones, we're bringing this to you in the comforts of your own home. So I just want to talk to you about where your money goes to um, through your donations and support of the raffles, silent auctions, and donations today. Uh, Miles of Hope has four pillar programs that are very personally important to me and valuable to our friends and neighbors with breast cancer. And I want to talk to you about those four pillar programs. Our first program is called a peer-to-peer -peer support program. And what that is, is a program where newly diagnosed individuals can gain support either by phone or in person at meetings uh, to discuss the experience of breast cancer with someone who's been through it before. Our second pillar program is complementary medicine programs, and that could be Reiki, massage, acupuncture, or music. And as you probably may know, studies have shown that people who have massage prior to surgery for breast cancer have better outcomes with pain, stress management, and physical um, uh, recovery. Our third program is scholarships. And you'll hear from one of our recipients today, uh, several of the ones who were awarded this year as well. And this is a program for college-bound seniors whose lives have been affected by breast cancer, where Miles of Hope gives them financial assistance to help them in their uh, academic career. And lastly, and my most favorite one, is the Medical Gap Care Program. The Medical Gap Care Program provides financial assistance for those going through breast cancer treatment who may be experiencing a financial crisis. And this may include paying of credit card bills, paying for school tuition, uh, utilities, um, car payments, transportation, groceries, uh, medical bills, you name it, we pay for that. And we are the only organization in the Hudson Valley that provides that kind of assistance. So I encourage you today, please be active in our live auction, buy some raffle tickets, contribute to our giving tree, which sends money directly to the programs I just spoke about, become, um, become a sponsor. Uh, your financial assistance is so important to us now. Although um, the pandemic may have caused us all to pause, it had not paused breast cancer and your friends and neighbors in Hudson Valley need you now more than ever. So again, thank you so much for coming and I look forward to seeing you in person at our next Miles of Hope event. Thank you. Hi, Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation. I am so honored and humbled that you would even think of reaching out to me to have me speak directly to you and your foundation. I know you have an anniversary coming up, your sweet 16th on the 13th, and I want to wish you all continued, continued success. I wanna share with you a personal story about how important having foundations like Miles of Hope is for those of us who have gone through and are going through cancer. As many of you know, I was diagnosed with stage 3B breast cancer a little less than two years ago. I could not have gotten through 
and gone through that very difficult journey and that beast that I call cancer, unless I had a foundation like Miles of Hope. You guys do God's work. I really mean that. I so, so appreciate it. And you are doing something that is so valuable. You change lives, you encourage, and you empower people. And when you are at the end of your rope, like I was many, many days, it was people like your foundation, Miles of Hope, that I would reach out to and look for strength. So thank you so much for being there, for continuing on and helping us all fight this and move forward. I'm wearing pink in your honor, Miles of Hope, because all of us are survivors in one way or another, aren't we? And I want to just encourage you to keep the faith, keep plotting on. We need you now more than we ever have. And I am so proud to just send this video to Miles of Hope and tell you how valuable, how needed, and how important you are. Thank you so much for thinking of me. And I want to be in touch with you guys on a much closer basis. So keep me posted on all you're doing. I'm sending you health, happiness, and lots of positivity. Bye, Miles of Hope. And happy anniversary. This is just your 16th, but you have 116 more to go. I'd like to know how you heard of Miles of Hope. Well, actually, my husband was the one who found him. He passed it on to me, and I in turn actually passed it on to a friend of mine who had breast cancer before I did, and she was also able to benefit from Miles of Hope. My husband had went through a lot of red tape. We had a lot of false hopes and promises, and no other organization came through for us but Miles of Hope. So I'll be forever indebted to Miles of Hope. Hi, I'm Dana Efron, co-founder of Miles of Hope and a breast cancer survivor. We started this foundation because we saw a need for support services for breast cancer patients in the Hudson Valley, and we wanted to provide them. As you just heard from Teresa Williams, she was a recipient of our Medical Gap Care Program, a program that assists patients with paying their bills. I admire Teresa's bravery. She let us know that she needed help, and we were honored to help her. As you all know, coronavirus has created a new normal. Remember that breast cancer doesn't stop within a pandemic. People in treatment with breast cancer need us now more than ever. Help us at Miles of Hope. Help them. Text a donation to the number on your screen or go to milesofhope.org and click on Donate at the top of the page. Now let's raise a glass to our survivors to continued good health. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey, it's Melissa Etheridge here wishing Miles of Hope a sweet 16th anniversary. You have assisted those affected by breast cancer in New York's Hudson Valley for 16 years. I know this year your annual brunch will be virtual, but um, I'm just wishing you the best for that. I'm sure everyone's going to support you just as they always do. So sending you much love and hey, I run for hope. I run to feel, I run for the truth, for all that is real. I run for your mother, your sister, your wife. I run for you and me, my friend. I run for life. Keep it up, Miles of Hope. You're doing such good work. Much love. Miles of Hope, I want to say happy, sweet 16th birthday. It's your 16th anniversary. That is a big deal. In 16 years, you guys have done phenomenal work helping so many people with breast cancer in uh, the Hudson Valley area, uh, from what I understand. And it's incredible that what you're doing, uh, something that's near and dear to my heart. I, um, I didn't have breast cancer, but I had kidney cancer within the last uh, 10 months. Um, I'm doing well. I'm cancer free. I'm actually speaking to you right now from my mom's place in Florida, who's going through her own cancer journey. It, cancer uh, affects so many of us in so many ways, whether or not it's, it's us personally, whether it's somebody we love, it's whether it's somebody we know, it's everywhere. And with its organizations like Miles of Hope that make such a difference out there, I wish that I could be there personally to, to speak and be part of the event, even though I'm not a breast cancer survivor. Um, uh, cancer of all sorts um, is just it's just too much of it and we need to do something about it and you are doing that something 
And I'm so grateful uh, on behalf of my mom, who's going through a tough time right now, myself, uh, who's, you know, I'm still going at it. I'm still taking care of my situation. Um, and so, 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 so many others. I work with uh, one, two, three people that are breast cancer survivors on Home and Family at Hallmark Channel. I hope I'm not forgetting anybody else. So it's a beautiful thing you're doing. I'm sending all my love and support. And uh, next time, maybe I can come in person and, and be a part of your great, your great luncheon, your great uh, event that you guys hold, okay? Thank you so much for having me be part of it. Congratulations, happy sweet 16th. See ya. I want to take a moment to thank everyone who has donated to this foundation, especially our sponsors. They've set a goal, we've set a goal of $125,000 and we are almost there. You are seeing on your screen right now the list of wonderful sponsors who make this event successful. The more money we raise, the more people affected by breast cancer we can help. So thank you everyone for your generosity. Happy Sweet 16, Miles of Hope. I mean, this is your 16th anniversary, and even though your annual brunch will be virtual, I wish you all of the success and congratulations on your fundraising efforts, because the work that you're doing to assist those affected by breast cancer in New York's Hudson Valley is very much needed. So thank you, and congratulations in advance. Hi, I'm Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News correspondent and breast cancer survivor. And I just wanna say happy, happy Sweet 16 to Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation. Thanks for all you're doing to help people pay their bills and expenses during treatment. What is an incredibly difficult time, it makes a huge difference to have your help. So thanks for all you're doing and congratulations. Keep it going. My name is Dr. Susan Bobel, and I am Chief of Breast Surgery and Breast Programs at New Vance Health. Breast cancer is really headed towards more and more personalized medicine. We're not just taking care of cancer, we're taking care of the whole patient, getting them the help that they need and taking care of their support system. Through all of our expertise at Dyson, we have brought incredible high quality care close to home. We're not treating our patients just to be alive. We're treating them to get back to their normal everyday life. I love seeing my patients come to the other side and get back to living. Every day, I think about my family members with breast cancer, and I don't want other patients going through what they went through. That inspires me to be the absolute best doctor that I can be every day. And now you all need to help me recognize and thank some very wonderful people. Emily Craig is an outstanding community activist and volunteer. She is a true leader in every sense of the word and has run a fundraiser for Miles of Hope every year since 2011, raising over $17,000 for people like her, breast cancer survivors. Dr. Joel Cantor is a pillar of our board of directors, serving as chairman and now chairman emeritus. He has supported Miles of Hope in memory of his wife, Beverly, who died from breast cancer, and in honor of all of those who will be affected by this disease. To date, Dr. Cantor and his family have donated $77,500 to Miles of Hope. Lisa Arnoff, the Arnoff family, and Arnoff Moving and Storage have supported Miles of Hope since 2006, the very beginning of the foundation. Not only has Lisa chaired this event for 16 years, but Mike, her husband, and her three sons, and her parents, and her in-laws, and their company, Arnoff Moving and Storage, have been devoted to Miles of Hope for all these years as well. We are overwhelmed with gratitude with their support, donating over $87,000 to Miles of Hope. Ariana Peterman is a college student who took it upon herself to raise money for Miles of Hope after her aunt was diagnosed with breast cancer. 
She drove to New York City, picked up Krispy Kreme donuts, and sold them at first her high school and then a year later at her college, raising over $3,500 for breast cancer programs. Here's her story. Hi, I'm Arianna Peterman. I'm thrilled to be one of the 2020 Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation Spring into Fall Brunch honorees. In 2007, my Aunt Emma passed away from breast cancer right before Christmas. I wondered why she had to get sick. Why did my seven-year-old cousin's mom have to die? As I got older, I knew I wanted to help, but I just didn't know how. One day in sixth grade, I was given my call to action. A teacher asked me if I was interested in singing the national anthem at the Miles of Hope 5K Family Fun Run. I learned that Miles of Hope helps people in treatment for breast cancer with their bills and finances, with programs to enhance recovery, and with scholarships for college. My senior year of high school, I teamed up with a good friend and raised over $1,500 for Miles of Hope through a Krispy Kreme donut fundraiser. This past fall, as a senior at SUNY New Paltz, I doubled the amount of donuts and raised over $3,000. Breast cancer has directly affected my life by taking away a family member. Whether it's singing for a race, refilling water cups for runners, or raising money by selling donuts, I know how important it is to help people affected by breast cancer in our Hudson Valley. Miles of Hope is and oftentimes the only resource, resource for someone in treatment who needs assistance. Thank you for helping us help those who need it the most. Thank you. Thank you, Ariana. As executive director of Miles of Hope, I'm often approached by people who say, I know what you do for people affected by breast cancer. I know how important Miles of Hope is to our community. How can I help? two ways. Support us on social media by liking our Facebook page, sharing our posts, and even having a campaign in our honor on your birthday or special occasion. And of course, donate right now to the number on the bottom of your screen. Frequent the businesses who support us, even host or have a fundraiser for us in October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Go to milesofhope.org and click on I Want to Help from the homepage for ideas on how you can get involved. Thank you to all of our honorees. Without you, we would not be able to help as many people as we do. Hey, everybody. Since Miles of Hope Brunch is going virtual this year, I thought we would all talk virtually about why we love Miles of Hope. Miles of Hope supports community, medicine and wellness programs like yoga, acupuncture, and massage therapy. They have a medical gap care fund that provides financial assistance for those things not covered by health insurance. They have a fantastic peer-to-peer -peer counseling to help people recently diagnosed. There's even a college scholarship fund for those whose lives have been affected by breast cancer. My family always loves the awesome raffle and auction items to choose from at the brunch. We're so excited to see it come together virtually this year. The money raised here stays here. It goes directly to help families locally right here in the Hudson Valley. Cancer doesn't stop in a pandemic. And we're so glad that Miles of Hope is here to help anyone affected by breast cancer. I'm so proud that Arnock Moving and Storage has been able to be a major sponsor of Miles of Hope for the past 16 years. Happy Sweet, Happy sweet 16. 16. I would like to read a letter from someone we have helped. Dear Miles of Hope Foundation, as a cancer survivor, I wanted to express my sincere gratitude for the provision of being able to apply for help in the form of grants through the Miles of Hope Foundation. I learned about it from a friend who was also a cancer survivor. In addition, to the practical help that this foundation provides monetarily, I was impressed by the emotional support and interest shown by the services coordinator and those affiliated with the foundation. During the most challenging time of my life, dealing with cancer treatments amidst a pandemic, this arrangement was reassuring and supportive. Please pass on my thanks and appreciation to all those behind the scenes that made this possible. This is just one example that explains a bit about why it's my honor and privilege to volunteer for Miles of Hope. 
Over the last 16 years, I have heard countless stories of the ways this remarkable foundation has not only supported individuals who were facing a financial crisis, but also created a community of comfort and support. Miles of Hope has given grants to a summer camp program attended by the children of breast cancer survivors, to a hospital for a patient navigator who assists Spanish-speaking individuals to communicate with their healthcare providers, and to countless breast cancer support groups, dance, music, yoga, and meditation classes for people in treatment and survivors. These are just a few examples of the many acts of loving kindness Miles of Hope has contributed to make our community a richer and better place to live. It's truly been a joy for me to work on behalf of Miles of Hope because of how this foundation touches people's lives. Hi, my name is Aiden Davis and I recently graduated from Beacon High School. I received the Miles of Hope Scholarship this year. First off, I'd like to thank Miles of Hope for awarding me the scholarship and their generosity to offer this opportunity to students whose lives have been affected by breast cancer. Not only do I want to thank them for the scholarship, but for all the work that they do to help support families who have been affected by breast cancer. I've seen the great work the organization does for families affected as they help the, fam the family of a very dear friend of mine, Donna Peterson, who passed away a few years ago from breast cancer. She taught us a lot of life lessons and always reminded us that she was staying strong, not giving up. And this was something that she expected us to do. And now, more than ever in these unprecedented times, we need to take her advice and do the same. Thank you again to Miles of Hope for everything they do. Hi everyone at the Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation. I, it's Chef Ann Burrell. Um, I am reaching out to you on behalf of Lisa McHugh. Um, and I understand that you guys are having your sweet 16 happy anniversary. Um, and I understand during, because of COVID that you got your annual brunch is going to be held virtually. I know it's not quite the same, but it's so important that you guys do it for just the camaraderie and the fellowship and just congratulations on your sweet 16 and all of your huge successes with your fundraising. So, I mean, I went to culinary school in uh, the Hudson Valley, so I know that area well. And just thank you for all that you do for everyone afflicted with breast cancer. It's so, so important. So thank you guys all. It's Chef Amberell sending you lots of love and virtual hugs and all of that kind of stuff. And congratulations uh, on 16th and congratulations on all your huge fundraising. Yay, rock stars! My name is Mae Verna and I just graduated from Westlake High School in Thornwood, New York. I'd like to thank the Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation Scholarship Committee in awarding me a scholarship. It is a great honor and will be very helpful as I begin my college career at the University of Delaware in the fall. Breast cancer is a very prominent topic in my life since my mother and maternal grandmother have battled it and are thankfully still alive. My mother has a BRCA gene. My three sisters and I will eventually be tested in hopes that knowledge and science will help us make choices about our future health. I hope that scholarships like these will continue and aid those in their research to cure all types of cancer. Thank you again. Hi, I'm County Executive Pat Ryan. So many of us have been affected by breast cancer. A member of my own family fought the disease, which is one of the many reasons I support Miles of Hope, which helps raise funds to help pay medical bills for those fighting breast cancer. This year on September 13th, please make time to join what will be a virtual brunch to support this great organization, to raise funds and to support our community. Please go to milesofhope.org to sign up and get more information. Thank you so much to all our supporters locally and all over the country. The silent auction will continue until 5 p.m. today, so get your bids in now and buy your raffle tickets. If you have any questions about how to bid on an item, click on the How to Use BidPal link in the list to the left of the items. 
Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation. Hi, Tracy Toms, a.k.a. Karen Wilson on 911. I hear that you guys are having a virtual brunch on September 13th, celebrating your sweet 16th anniversary. Uh, congratulations on a successful fundraiser. And I know that you do great work assisting those affected by breast cancer in the New York Hudson Valley. So have a wonderful, wonderful celebration, guys. I think what you do is so wonderful, and I'm happy to be part of it. Thank you, Miles of Hope, for awarding me this scholarship. I'm so honored to have received it because both my grandmothers had breast cancer and are survivors, so it's very near and dear to my heart. Throughout my high school career, I've been doing North Rock on Sports Day and Serve Up a Cure to help fund breast cancer research, and I hope in my future in the medical field that I can help assist them in finding a cure. For 16 years, the Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation has been providing great assistance and immeasurable benefit to so many families throughout our community. We can't celebrate their 16th birthday, but we can come together virtually. I'm Dutchess County Executive Mark Molinero, and it has been my honor to partner with Miles of Hope here in this community. I'm grateful to uh, all who have been involved in really making an impact in the lives of so many others. So I hope you can join uh, for their virtual birthday party uh, September the 13th with great speakers and a silent auction. It'll be a great opportunity to show our support and I hope you will too. Now if you want more information you can visit milesofhope.org. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the individuals who volunteer and work with uh, and uh, the reach of Miles of Hope has made and have made such a difference in the lives of so many. Join me in supporting uh, their efforts and let's continue to deliver hope to families fighting breast cancer. Hi, my name is Taylor Patrone. Um, I am a student at the Savannah College of Art and Design and I am the recipient of the Betty Benack Scholarship for Miles of Hope for 2020. Um, I just wanted to hop on and say a big thank you um, to Miles of Hope. I am so honored and grateful to have received this award and to be able to represent this foundation through my school and I am so grateful for not only the scholarship, but everything that they did for me and my family while my mom was battling breast cancer. We truly do owe a lot to these foundations for just being there for a lot of these families, including my own, and I am so grateful. Thank you. Hi, I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive, and I'm very happy to be here for the Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation Virtual Brunch. I am uh, going to be drinking a virtual Bloody Mary shortly with my virtual eggs. But it's important that we gather, whether it's through this medium, if not in person, each year to celebrate the great work that Miles of Hope has done. It is uh, a serious issue for those who have breast cancer, and Miles of Hope as an organization has been there. They've been there to help with individuals' finances, transportation to and from their treatments, scholarship programs, and other kinds of help programs that are necessary to help the individual get through this very difficult time. We know that breast cancer is a, uh, a terrible diagnosis to receive, and it's a very difficult road for those women that have to work through it. But you're not walking that road alone, and you have hope because of miles of hope. Have a wonderful brunch today, and we enjoy your pleasure of your company. Next year, we'll be together in person. This day would not be complete without a big thank you to our Miles of Hope staff. Jen Oppenheim, our Development Associate and Events Coordinator, who is at home chatting it up with all of you. Parry Faroud, our fearless leader, who has worked hard with all our sponsors and to coordinate this event. But a huge thank you to Lisa McHugh, our CFO, who has given this event its look and feel, and who personally reached out to the celebrities on the program and who has run our online silent auction and raffles. We love you all so much. We thank you so much for joining us. Please don't forget that the raffles and silent auctions will remain open until 5 p.m. today. If there's nothing on there that you want to purchase, please feel free to make a donation, give to our giving tree, and remember all the money raised here, raised with us, stays here in the nine counties of the Hudson Valley. Thank you all so very much. We love you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next year in person.